Hello everyone, this is Paul. Welcome back to my channel, Gila Palette. Today is Wednesday, therefore it's going to be a critical Wednesday. So, again, I'm going to go back to the Game of Thrones one. Um, so it's been a long time since we talked about Game of Thrones in my channel. Well, certainly, certainly a long time. Now, the hype is going to be there, not there. We are going to keep the hype for ourselves because the Game of Thrones episode is going to come only at 2019. Sad part, right? The saddest thing ever. Moving on. So today I'm going to be talking about theory that has been out there right now. Um, Ned Stark is alive. Well, you'll be like, come on, this be, this be over this. He died. Well, if you think about it, there were faceless men in the first season, like a lot of faceless men. That's why I, that's how Arya Stark met them uh, after she was like, um, you know, taken um, kind of like a carriage thing. So she tried to ex escape King's Landing, and then there was a faceless man there. Uh, what people ask, what I'm saying is that he was the one. He got there in that situation with Arya Stark because he saved Ned Stark when he was there. Uh, he sent someone uh, to the, you know, field. Uh, he switched bodies with Ned Stark. Uh, but the situation is we don't know what Ned Stark is doing right now. Where Ned Stark is. Maybe he might make an entry next season because we all know John is not a he's not a Stark, he's a Targaryen, so his life is not going to be the same. Um, therefore, no Stark is going to be there to rule, and then boom, next Stark is there. Uh, he's going to tell his version of the story. Maybe he got lost. Uh, maybe he got um, you know something happened to him when he escaped. Someone kidnapped him and then held him hostage and stuff like that maybe maybe you know just maybe theories are you know just theories just made up if it is made up i think this is a good thing because there are plenty of net stock fans plenty so to see him will make it more 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 fun that maybe brand stock didn't see this because he thought his dad was di dead there's no, nothing to look into, and Littlefinger was killed for that as well, but then suddenly he's there, maybe, I don't know, but this is a little bit in like intriguing, right, like the Faceless Men, actually there was a Faceless Men theory where um, they just tried to kill the Starks, but there's also like, they were the one like um, close to them, and then they kind of like hired them to go save Ned Stark when he was uh, held up. Prisoner by Cersei Lannister and Joffrey. Maybe. I don't know. To me, this theory can be plausible. But at the same time, introducing him with this 8th season is just like random as hell. It's like, wait. There was no like in, like intimation that there's, he's alive. That he's there. That he's been looking looking up for all these people. And it's like saving them from time to time. Doing things from time to time. I don't think that was the case. So I think this theory is debunked in this channel. I don't know. Maybe it's active. I want to see Ned Stark, obviously. I'm a big Ned Stark fan, but eh, I don't know. The next thing is Tyrion Lannister's theory. This one is actually out there. People have talked about it. Why Tyrion Lannister looked sad at the end of the thing. I think I talked about this as well, but then I came, I kind of gave a different kind of like theory. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about why it's a pre pretty important thing. I mean, if you guys uh, remember the last season finale, uh, they talked for a moment there. So see Nanister and Tyrion had a moment where she said she's pregnant. Uh, he would be like, okay. And then the scene would just cut and then it would showcase the end where Cersei Lannister is saying, I'll help you guys and stuff like that. Uh, people have been speculating for a while now and then this kind of like got, got into understanding where this theory can be plausible. Where uh, Cersei Lannister will say, yes, I'm pregnant. And then Tyrion will be like, you know what? Uh, Daenerys cannot have babies. She cannot be, um, she cannot have a child that that will rule after her. So what if you, um, you know, just promise me that you will do the right thing now. So I'll make sure that you are alive and then your kid will rule after dinner to start Gary. Now, cut there and then the boat scene where he's, she's, you know, let's just say it's a boat scene, all right? And uh, she's getting intimate with Jon Snow and Tyrion Lannister is said, wait, what? I, I just promised my sister this and then it's like, oh, come on. Uh, maybe he knows that they, she can get pregnant with Jon Snow. I don't know. This theory is alright. 
you know to a point where this is actually the perfect example or a perfect explanation for this theory but at the same time i don't know if it's going to be like a inter it's like a immediate thing like in the eighth season that this theory was proven again um so when they were talking like Tyrion Lannister will spill the beans uh, how he got Cersei Lannister to help but I think the theory will easily get debunked because um to Jamie Lannister will get there and then he will be like <laughs> you thought my her sister is gonna listen to you no it's not everything is gonna screw up and stuff like that so I just think that's gonna be the case I don't know Hit that like button if you like this video, share the video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel for this movies, TV shows, reviews, reactions and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about these two theories. Uh, do you think they are plausible? Do you think they are actively working on these theories to be proven? Do you think they will be... it will happen? Let me know in the comments down below guys. Uh, thank you, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So, if you guys like this video, check out the previous one while I added. Check out the entire playlist with some popcorn subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the gaming channel where everything is gaming i'll see you guys in the next one bye